How do you name benzene derivatives? Benzene is the parent name for some substituted benzenes. Here, a bromine atom substitutes one of the hydrogen atoms of benzene. Thus, this compound can be named bromobenzene. In this next case, a nitro group is the substituent, as we call this nitrobenzene. In this case, the benzene ring is attached at the C2 position of the heptane structure. The alkyl structure has more carbons than the aromatic ring. So by IUPAC rules, the alkyl structure should be the parent. Thus we call this 2-phenylheptane. It can also be depicted in this manner, in which we just use the shorthand pH to represent the phenyl ring structure. Positions are indicated by prefixes ortho, meta, and para, or O, M, and P, or by the corresponding numerical locals. In this compound, two bromine atoms are attached to carbons that are right next to each other in the benzene ring. This position is 1, 2, and so they are considered as ortho to each other. We call this compound O dibromobenzene. Or, if you will use the numerical locants, they are 1, 2 dibromobenzene. In this case, we have a fluorine atom and a nitro group. They are located at carbon 1 and carbon 4. In this case, we call this relationship as para, and the name of this compound is para nitro fluorobenzene. Notice that we call it first as fluorobenzene, fluoro being first in alphabetical order can be considered as a parent and nitro taken as a substituent at para position. In IUPAC, it follows a different order. IUPAC use alphabetical priorities, so we name a substituent that comes out first in alphabetical order. This is 1-fluoro-4-nitrobenzene. How about this one? There are two substituents, the chlorine and ethyl substituents are positioned at C1 and C3. This type of relationship is called meta or M. And to name it properly, we take the substituent that has alphabetical priority, which is chloro. So this is a chlorobenzene and the ethyl group is taken as the substituent of chlorobenzene at meta position. The name is meta or M ethyl chlorobenzene. If we use the numerical locants, we will again consider their alphabetical priority. Chlorine should be named first, followed by ethyl. So our naming should be 1 chloro 3 ethyl benzene. Numbers must be used as locants when more than two substituents are present. If that is the case, we cannot use the ortho, meta, and para prefixes anymore. So how do we name this compound? We can use either 1, 2, and 4, or 1, 3, and 4. Following the rules that we have already established for alkane nomenclature, the two fluorine atoms should be mentioned first, thus the name is 2,4-difluoro-1-nitrobenzene. This is the correct name and not 1,3-difluoro-4-nitrobenzene. If a substituent defines a parent other than benzene, this substituent is designated position 1. There are many benzene derivatives that are already given common names. 
Examples are here. If the substituent is a methyl group, we call this compound toluene. If the substituent is a hydroxyl group, we call this compound a phenol. Here is aniline, anisole, benzoic acid, benzaldehyde, styrene, and oxaline. We can use these names as parents, and any substituents on these parents must consider that the original substituent is at position 1. For example, this compound here, it has an OH group, so we can say that this is a phenol, and the chlorine is a substituent in this phenol structure. So we can name this compound meta or M chlorophenol. In systematic nomenclature, we can also name this as 3-chlorophenol. How about this one? It has a methyl group, so the parent compound of this structure must be toluene. There are three nitro groups. The positions of the nitro group, if we consider this as C1, this is C2, C4, and C6. The proper name for this compound must be 2, 4, 6, trinitrotoluene. This is the explosive compound commonly known as TNT.